Hi uh, guys, okay, we're just at a um, uh, demonstration outside Westminster City Hall. And this is about the uh, London Borough so well of Death. Uh, and here we have Steve who is actually going to explain a few more details. So, Steve, what can you, what can you, what can you tell us about this? London, London Borough's Wall of Death? Um, yeah, well, I, I'm one of the founders of a campaign called Stop Killing Cyclists. And this is um, one of a few actions we've already had done, um, a couple of large protests. One in November with a huge sty in outside Transport for London headquarters. Um, but this is um, a small action to essentially release the results of some research that the campaign has done, um, getting freedom of inf information requests from mm -hmm. all the London boroughs to find out how much has been spent by each borough on safe infrastructure for cycling in the last four years since the, since the um, borough elections. And basically, the long and short of that research is that they've all been pretty dismal. Most of them spent next to nothing. And that is why the majority of London's roads don't have any kind of safe infrastructure for cycling. And the band of here, with all the crosses on it, represents each of the deaths of cyclists in those four years across London on the borough's roads. Yeah. That's uh, disproportionate. Uh this last election. That's right, yeah. So 54 cyclists, 270 pedestrians. Election, oh boy. And that's it. Okay, and thank we're you. Also, we're also just tying it in as well with the fact that um, most traffic causes a lot of pollution and the lack of infrastructure discourages people from cycling as well. So the, the damage that both of those things do to people's health is also a really important issue for the second. 11,300 physical and fitness, and uh, 13,400 uh, traffic pollution. That's right, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Steve. I've had my problem. Thanks a lot.